Hello, so let me show you how to create agent for Copilot using the new Microsoft 365 Agent SDK and the M365 Agent Toolkit, both in VS Code and Visual Studio. So let's start with uh, VS Code. So I, I'm going to create a new uh, agent there, and you see that we have uh, all the agent available uh, to, for the M365 uh, uh, Copilot platform. So either a uh, declarative agent where you're going to provide, you know, instruction, knowledge like OneDrive, SharePoint, API plugins or graph connectors and going to package that and use uh, uh, the Microsoft uh, 365 Copilot managing that for you. But you can also expose uh, your own custom engine agent using the new M365 agent SDK. And this time you're going to provide your model coming from Azure OpenAI, Azure Foundry or from OpenAI or other models and your own uh, orchestrator if you like to could be semantic kernel or long chain. Uh, we still have, of course, the uh, classical uh, application for Teams. So let's start with uh, a custom engine agent. We have two templates available. The first one is a very basic custom uh, engine agent where we'll use a new agent uh, SDK and uh, LLM coming from uh, Azure or OpenAI and no uh, orchestrator at all. And the second template is more uh, elaborate and interesting because it will use long chain in uh, JavaScript and we're going to see a semantic kernel in, uh, in uh, C Sharp. So let's start with uh, the weather uh, agent. So I'm going to use uh, Azure OpenAI in my case. So he asks for the various details. So I need to go in the portal. So I have uh, many models available in my uh, portal. You can see uh, DeepSeq R1 and uh, GPTs. I'm going to use GPT 4.0 uh, for this demo. Copy the key, um, I'm going to paste it there. Then he asks for the endpoint. So the endpoint is this one. Um, then he's going to ask for the name of the deployment, which is this one, GPT-40. Then he asks for my favorite language. So let's use JavaScript, uh, the default folder, and we're going to call it test weather uh, long chain. Okay, so to differentiate from uh, the future uh, semantic kernel one. So it's going to scaffold uh, everything for me. Um, so first, what you can do uh, uh, using the extension is to check that you have, uh, you know, uh, a connection to your uh, dev tunnel. So you're, if you're currently uh, signing properly to uh, the, the tenant you like to connect. But one of the new, um, you know, things we're shipping is a new uh, tool named the uh, agent playground there you see uh, so that's going to help you to debug your experience without being forced to test in the final tenant so let's debug that uh, inside this tool and when you will press f5 the toolkit is going to prepare everything on your machine so it's going to install a bunch of additional package it's going to you know to prepare the machine with a specific uh, server and then it's going to open this tool to let you uh, test your code so while he's doing that, I'm going to uh, go inside uh, the code of my uh, agent. So you can see that I'm uh, connecting with uh, the SDK of Azure OpenAI, that we've got two tools that is going to get the dates, the other one that gets the, the weather. So it's a fake tool that we have there. Uh, and if we go in the tool, and we're going to the uh, emulator after if you're going in the tool you see that it's just going to uh, to get um, a, a random temperature so we can put a breakpoint for instance there to be sure that it's working fine and then uh, I can ask for the weather so what is the weather in Paris tomorrow so to to do that you understand that tomorrow you need to know what is the date today so we need a tool call for that uh, to do plus one and then we need to know the the town so let's ask to the uh, you know emulator to call my uh, agent so you see that i am in the breakpoint so i can debug everything on my local machine using vs code i'm going to press f5 and then he's going to call the LLM to understand everything. And you see that he managed to understand that today we are uh, the 29th, so tomorrow is the 30th of April. Uh, so he managed to, uh, to understand what is tomorrow. And the temperature is a random temperature <laughs> because the weather is better in Paris uh, tomorrow. So pretty easy to, to put in place. Uh, so let's stop this uh, experience. 
Um, now you need to be sure that you are logged on into a specific tenant and have access to Copilot because we have another debugging target available, uh, which is directly uh, Copilot. So I can debug right in Copilot and I'm going to press uh, F5. So this time it requires uh, additional work. You see that it's starting a, a dev tunnel because we need to expose my uh, local host uh, to a public URL that can be used of course, by uh, M365 Copilot or Teams, you can you know, use the agent in both environments. So what uh, the toolkit is doing is to create uh, various ID, you know, registration, app registration is going to register, you know, the Microsoft 365 title to get a, a specific ID, package everything into uh, a specific package and zip that and upload that to, uh, to the tenant. And then when everything will be ready, is going to open uh, the window there. You see that's going to open directly uh, Microsoft uh, Copilot. Okay, it took time, but it's there. So now you see that I have this uh, test weather long chain local. So now I can ask, for instance, uh, what is the weather uh, next week in uh, London this time? So I should still have my uh, breakpoint being hit uh, there, you see, and now I press F5 um, and then it should uh, automatically stream back the answer and you see I was able directly to test uh, inside the uh, copilot or from my local uh, machine uh, with the playground. So everything is being set up for you. Uh, by the toolkit using the agent SDK, in this case, uh, long chain. So now let's switch to uh, another experience uh, inside uh, Visual Studio this time. So I can create a new project. Uh, if you look for uh, agent there uh, with a keyword, you have the new Microsoft 365 agent being available. I'm going to click next, so give it a name. So I'm going to test to name it test weather um, semantic kernel this time next and i'm going to take the weather agent so i'm going to click next uh, you need to select a specific uh, once again uh, uh, llm so you're not forced by the way to use openai or azure openai you can use your own model in this case just pick openai and uh, provide a fake key and then you will update the code so in my case i'm going to provide the uh, OpenAI once again, so let's go back and copy the, the key, the endpoint, and now the deployment name. Okay, so it's going to scaffold a, a new project like uh, VS Code did, but this one uh, in C Sharp. So let's review uh, this project briefly. So you see that uh, I've got my uh, main program there that's going to use a semantic kernel uh, to be able to, um, to register some plugins for the tooling. We are also using the Open, Azure OpenAI SDK to uh, manage uh, the uh, tooling, uh, the, uh, the LLM, sorry. And then we have, uh, you know, the uh, weather agent, which is there. Um, and uh, we have plugins that are going to act as tools. So we have one for adaptive card. We have a dead, dead time like we had in, in long chain. And let's, for instance, go there. Uh, and you see that we have the very same uh, random uh, temperature being set. Um, so to be able to start it, you know, you can test it in the same uh, agent uh, playground, um, or you can also start it uh, directly in a specific uh, um, environment like Teams. So we're going to try it directly in Teams this time. So I'm going to press uh, start. Uh, and this time it would take also a bit of time to uh, prepare everything to make it ready for Teams in the same way we've seen with uh, Visual Studio Code. So let's wait for it. Okay, so you see that it managed to prepare everything, to uh, create the bots, you know, and to create the package, to silo the package, um, and now to load, you know, the, the server that's going to answer to my uh, to my agent uh, on my local machine. Okay, so now I can uh, add this agent to Teams. So we've seen the playground, we've seen the M365 Copilot, and now we're going to see the team channel. Um, so you see that it was uh, added successfully, so I can open it now. 
uh, and ask some questions. So to, to sh let you show that this is still working fine on my machine, I'm going to go in the bot and I'm just going to put a breakpoint on when I will receive an answer uh, on the content type and uh, to check that it's supposed to be an adaptive card. So now I'm going to ask what is the weather in three days in Seattle this time, for instance. So once again, uh, it's going to call my LLM. So we see that we have uh, the streaming in place. Uh, so you see that is indicating what it's going to do. And I should have my breakpoint being it. Um, here it is, so I can continue the execution and it worked well. So I was able to show you, you know, in both VS Code and Visual Studio how to create agents for the M365 platform. So you can have a funny local experience in your inner, inner loop. So you just need to provide at the beginning uh, uh, LLM. You're not even forced to have a LLM. You can start with a very e uh, easy echo bust just to learn how to use the agent SDK. Then you plug in uh, LLM with uh, the uh, Azure uh, OpenAI SDK. And then the next step is either to use long chain or semantic kernel to implement uh, tool calls uh, and expose that to either Teams or M365 Copilot. But the agent SDK also enable way more channels. You can have then Slack, Twilio, uh, Facebook, many other channels that are available in the Azure portal as a Azure um, but so check that um, and this is everything we will have ready for, for build. Thanks for listening.